remembered, I haven't really told you where I'm at with my macros and tracking. Um, I've been doing intuitive eating and been feeling really good with that, but I just felt like I was ready for a change, ready for a little more structure. So this week I have been tracking my food and weighing and measuring it, but I've been acting like I'm still intuitive eating. So I've been doing exactly what I've been doing, but I've just like seeing where I land. So this week's all about just tracking to like see what I've been averaging. And then um, moving into this next week, I've been talking with my coach and we're discussing doing like ranges of macros. And I've actually been doing this with more and more of my clients. Um, it adds for a little more flexibility. There is more like obviously a little more room for error. So if you're like on a strict cut and have really strict goals, it's not as precise. But for me where I'm at, I'm feeling really good and really happy. And so I want like a little more structure, but I don't need to be like 100% on point to the gram with macros right now. So seeing where I land and right now it seems as if I'm averaging between 120 and 130 protein um, anywhere from like 170 carb to 200 just kind of depending on the day I've noticed that when I do like work out harder I just I eat more carbs naturally and then my fats have been between 70 and 80 so actually a little bit higher but it's funny because I'm feeling really good with my body comp and good just with my energy and everything else my hormones um my cycle everything has been really good so i'm thinking that's where my body likes to be with fats so it's gonna be interesting i'll shoot an email to my coach today and then hear what she has to say too but i'm kind of thinking that maybe my ranges will be around there um i'll keep you posted on that so Definitely phasing from like 100% intuitive eating to a little more tracking now, but I'm excited for this next phase and what that's gonna bring. I just got back from the gym. It was a really good session um, we did. 10 to 1, yeah, 10 to 1 thrusters at, with a 10 calorie row after each thruster and then you built to your heaviest thruster and I felt pretty good about that. I got to 145 so um, I haven't worked to a heavy thruster in a while and then after that we worked to a heavy hang squat snatch. I got to 105 which for me is um, pretty good, pretty solid. And then after that, I did an 800 meter run, 12 ring muscle ups, 600 meter run, nine muscle ups, and then a uh, 400 meter run, and then six muscle ups. And that was fun, the muscle ups felt really good. So I'm just feeling actually really good right now where I'm at with my performance and with my nutrition. And then I just got home from the gym, I'm gonna make some breakfast, I'll show you that in a minute. And I came to packages on my doorstep, which is always fun. And so I'll just show you what I got. I got my second order of my Moon Bites. They said that they're changing their packaging and stuff, so this is abnormal, it's usually in a cute box. But these are my Moon Bites, and I talked with my girlfriend, and she gets the Moon Bites as well, but we decided after this month's supply, we're going to have a little Moon Bite party and make our own. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted on the recipe, how those turn out, and share that with you guys, obviously. And then one other thing that I got, this lip stuff in the mail, and it's from Mizzy Cosmetics, and it's called Lip Luck essential lip care and I got the plumping peppermint um, it's supposed to be super yummy I've heard from a couple people that it's really good stuff and it's all natural so the ingredients are sweet almond oil apricot kernel oil avocado oil fractioned coconut oil vitamin E beeswax peppermint essential oil mica with titanium dioxide don't know what that is but it's you know all natural super yummy i just put it on and my lips look shiny and it says it's plumping like tingly kind of and i can feel like a little bit of like coolness to it but it's not overly tingly random note on something i like to snack on is turkey pepperoni and i know it's not it's processed but it's 
like a little protein snack that's low fat and sometimes you know when you're in between cooking or whatever and you're hangry just an easy little go-to grab if you just need a little snack so my breakfast is done and I have oatmeal. Um, I use the Trader Joe's organic multigrain mix. So it's like rye, wheat, barley, like um, not instant, but it's basically like oatmeal. And then I did a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter, a like 10 grams of raisins, a scoop of protein. I'm using the Swolverine protein right now. And then I have a chicken sausage. I'm gonna try not to spill that everywhere. Uh, chicken sausage, organic. Um, I think it's like roasted red pepper garlic. And then a huge handful of super grains that I just saute up in there as well. So far with my coffee this morning and then my breakfast, that's gonna put me at 45 carbs, 27.5 fat, 62.5 protein. Wow. I didn't know I had that much protein already. It is Saturday afternoon and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to video and let you guys know how my day's been going. Um, classic weekend. It's a little more lax. Routine can be changed up at the drop of a hat. And so Travis's mom actually stopped by randomly. I had just eaten breakfast, which was really like brunch. Side note, I usually like fast and then I didn't eat until like 11, so brunch more like. And then um, she wanted to know if we wanted to go to lunch, so we ended up going with her and I had just eaten so I was super full, so I didn't get anything to eat, but I just had a beer. It's Saturday, it sounded delicious. And so I got an IPA beer, which I love, but they are a little higher calorie. So I'm just gonna account for that in my day and that's about 45 carbs worth. So if you don't know how to um, calculate alcohol into your macros, we do have a blog post on it. Um, you can reach out to us. We have a special way that we go about it. So it was a little just random thing in the middle of my day. So then I'll just adjust the rest of my day accordingly, which I will show you soon. I just ran downtown and while I did, I picked up the coffee because it's cold and I got a little sleepy and so when I order a coffee out, I always order um, just an Americano with an ounce of steamed half and half and I have this cinnamon, powdered cinnamon steamed into it and then usually just like a little dollop of honey. For that log, an ounce of cream and then like a half a tablespoon of honey. And it's just delicious and it's not that high in macros. So, on another note, I am gonna show you guys a little surprise. So, Wednesday night, my boyfriend came home and it was late, it was like 8 p.m. and he told me he had a little surprise. It was a dog, it was a stray dog that he found and it was this tiny little like chihuahua mix, wandering, freezing, infested in fleas. His nails were like 10 miles long his belly was like all puffed out and distended. Like he clearly has not been taken care of. So we gave him a flea bath, we clipped his nails, I took him to the vet and they said he's clearly been neglected. So I mean obviously I'm not gonna look for his home when they have been treating him like that. It's kind of been trying to like toss around what we were gonna do with him. And he's just, he, the vet said he's probably like over 10. He's super sweet. He is harmless. He really just wants someone to love him. I was in contact with a rescue around town and basically they said like a really old animal like that is hard to adopt out, which is understandable. And so as of right now, we are taking in this dog. Over the course of three days, he seriously, it's been night and day. He's already gotten so much healthier. You can tell he just has like a pep in his step and it just like warms my heart. I'm already getting attached to him. And so <laughs> I will show you guys him. We're calling him Gus Gus. Honestly, I don't even know <laughs> where that came from. We just started calling him Gus and then it turned into Gus Gus. Him. 
Watch out for him. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Okay. Hi, you. Is your name Gus Gus? And you have a coat on? Annie, <laughs> be nice. For dinner, this is something that I eat a lot. It's super basic and easy, and I get my protein, starchy carb, and fats, and micronutrients. So, this is what it looks like. So it's just half ground chicken, half ground beef, um, both 93.7% um, sauteed with some mushrooms, and then my veggies I just roast in the oven with my potatoes. Um, I did baby red potatoes, some asparagus, zucchini, and carrots and I just roast them in a little bit of grass-fed butter all in one pan and it's done. And then for dessert lately, I've been, normally I always like to have something after dinner, but because I'm doing the moon bites, I just do those as my dessert. Usually alone, sometimes I'll like put them on yogurt or something like that, but they're right around 200 calories, so that's perfect for after dinner. And everybody's begging. day that lands me at about 130 grams of protein, 165 carbs, and 65 fat. So oh, I just got back from the gym. I'm worked out this morning on a Sunday, which is not normal for me, but we decided to do a Veterans Day workout. So I did the workout and then I got a coffee with a little cream in it. I also had a coffee this morning with collagen and cream in it. And it's about a little after 11 and I'm making breakfast, brunch again. <laughs> and i'm doing chicken sausage with greens again and then i'm gonna do some sourdough toast with avocado and some ham on it this is my breakfast and with my breakfast and then cream and both my coffees collagen um i'm at 37.5 carbs 29.6 fat and 37.5 protein up a chocolate Santa marshmallow and I couldn't say no so I'm eating it <laughs> and this was like three fat 20 carbs and I had a ton of carbs today left so I'm going with it got back from watching the football game and it's like 3 30 and I'm getting a little bit hungry, but it is a little later in the afternoon, so I'm just gonna have um, rice cakes with a little bit of peanut butter and banana. That's like one of my go-to snacks. Pretty carb and fat heavy, but then tonight at dinner, I'm gonna make up with more protein, and I think I'm gonna make pizzas. Lately, I haven't been liking like a big lunch. I almost like a small snack like this or something that's a little bit bigger, but I don't like a lot of heavy food in the middle of the day. It makes me sleepy but I like enough to just keep my energy up and keep me satisfied and then I usually do bigger meals at breakfast and dinner Sunday night I'm all done eating I had moon bites again for my little snack after dinner and when it's I had pizza so I made mine on a flatbread and I did peppers, onions, mushrooms, ground chicken, and ground beef, and then pizza sauce, some reduced fat cheese, and sun-dried tomatoes, and turkey pepperoni. It was loaded. So with all of that, I ended at 115 protein, 160 carb, and 80 fat. So a little lower on protein and carb today. And that is a wrap for my weekend.